Hey everyone, uh, let's look at business and economic applications part one. Let's find the number of units X that produces a maximum revenue R, capital R, is given. It is given as 72 X to the two thirds power minus 6X. Let's take our first derivative, 72 times two thirds is 48. Take one off of your exponent, that's negative one third. Our second term has a derivative of negative six. And we wanna find the critical number since we're maximizing revenue. Setting that first derivative equal to zero and solving for x, we add six to both sides. Multiply both sides by your denominator. Divide both sides by six, and that takes us to eight equals x to the one-third power. To eliminate the power of one-third, we cube both sides, so raising to the third power. One-third times three is one, and that cleans off our x. Three-eighths multiplied together gives us 512. Find the number of units X that produces a minimum average cost per unit, which is denoted with a C bar. The C bar notation is average cost. We are given a total cost function of 0.001X cubed plus 3X plus 686. <coughs> Excuse me. Average cost is calculated by taking total cost divided by number of units. It's like if you were to average three test scores, you would add up all three test scores, divide by three. We're also gonna be looking to minimize, so we're gonna take the derivative of the average cost and set it equal to zero. Let's go back to our total cost function. For average cost, C bar, we take our total cost function, that's our numerator, divide by X. Taking each term in the numerator, one at a time, dividing off an X, that reduces three to square. Those matching X's cancel, leaving three. And then we have 686 over X. If we move the X from the denominator next to the 686, we can just negate the power. Taking the derivative, average cost, first derivative, we multiply 0 0.001 times two, take one off the power, Three is a constant, so its derivative is zero. 686 times negative one is negative 686. Take one off your power, and that makes a negative two. On the next step, I'm gonna bring this negative 686 x to the negative two. I'm gonna bring this over to the right, which will make it positive, and also move this term to the denominator, making the two positive. Multiplying both sides by the denominator x squared, we already have an x here, so x times x squared makes x cubed. Divide both sides by 0 0.02, well, 0, 0, 0,02, that is 343,000. x cubed is equal to this number. To get rid of the cube, or make it just x, we take the cube root of 343,000, and that tells us that 70 units will minimize the average cost. Find the price that will maximize profit for the demand and cost functions, where lowercase p is the price, X is the number of units, and capital C is the cost. First, let's build the revenue function. That's X times P. Think of it as if you sell 100 tickets at $5 a piece, that's $500 revenue. So we have X times our demand function. Distributing X, that's 43X minus 0.1 x to the 1 plus 1 half is 1 and a half or 3 halves. So just carefully distribute. This is our revenue function. Profit is revenue minus cost. So we take our revenue function we just built, 
subtract the cost function that was given. Subtracting like terms, we have negative 0.1x to the 3 halves. That's the only term like that one. 43x minus 28x is 15x, and then minus 500. To maximize profit, we take the derivative of our profit function, negative 0.1 times 3 halves is negative 0 0.15. Take 1 off our power, that's x to the 1 half. The derivative of 15x is 15. The derivative of a constant any constant is zero. And since we're looking for the number of units to maximize profit, we will solve for x. I'm going to take this negative term over to the right. It will go from negative to positive after it's moved. Divide both sides by 0 0.15. 15 divided by 0 0.15 is 100. x to the half if we square both sides, that will eliminate the half. x equals 100 squared, which is 100 times 100, or 10,000 units. Step four, now that we know the number of units that maximizes profit, we go back to our price function, which is at the top. That's this function that's given first. Sorry about moving that so much. And we're going to find the price of 10,000 units. So 43 minus 0 0.1 times the square root of 10,000. That gives us $33 per unit. Consider the following. We have a total cost function given, which is capital C. Marginal costs we're going to have to calculate later at the bottom half of this problem. It's like part B on WebAssign. Marginal, we're going to take our first derivative. So if we take the first derivative of this cost function, we get 3x squared minus 12x plus 12. So I've just written this in green ink. Use the cost function to find the production level at which the average cost is a minimum. Average cost is C bar. We're going to find where it's a minimum. That's the derivative equal to zero. It's the critical number. First, let's build the average cost function. Capital C, which is given, divided by x. So this will become our numerator over x. x cubed divided by x is x squared. Negative 6x squared divided by x is negative 6x, and 12x divided by x is 12. This one in blue is our average cost function. Taking its derivative and finding the critical number, we'll have 2x minus 6, 12 goes to 0. 2x minus 6 is equal to 0 when 2x equals 6, and that tells us x has to be 3. Now, using this, for part B, using this production level, show that marginal cost, that's the function in green, and average cost, that's this function in blue, are equal. So if we go to the function in green, top right of your screen, and we substitute in a 3, then we're going to go to this function, substitute in a 3, and check to see if they're equal. It turns out they are. Our derivative, marginal cost, C prime of 3, it was the green function at the top right. When you substitute in 3, your final answer or grand total is 3. For average cost of 3 units, do the math, you also get 3. So we've shown that the marginal cost and the average cost of producing 3 units is in fact equal. I hope this video has helped. Please reach out if you have any questions or concerns. I will do my best to help you out.